It's week three of our van life in New Zealand. I'm at the Lake de Capo right now. It's an amazing color. Sun is shining, blue sky, super blue lake. The plan for this last week in New Zealand is to go all the way down south to the Catelands and then head over west to Fjordland and finish it off in Queenstown where we have to return our van. In the past two weeks we had to throw out our plans because of the weather. So we'll see if the last week is the best one yet and we can actually do our plans. But for now, gonna enjoy the view of the lake. It's super cold, very refreshing and good instead of a shower. I haven't showered in a few days. That was the shower now. <laughs> We're just outside the Church of the Good Shepherd now in Lake de Capo. The color of the water here is just unreal and it changes color out there. Incredible. Good morning. It's still super early. We're gonna check out the lighthouse and apparently in the morning, early in the morning, the penguins come there. We're at the Katiki Point Lighthouse. So far I haven't seen any penguins yet but there are loads of sea lions, like a lot. They're just lying around here on the grass. Now we're gonna check out the Moraki boulders. Cool boulders on the beach. The boulders are probably not worth it going out of your way to come here, but if you're in the area, it's really cool. You can get some really cool pictures with the rocks. Now we're gonna head back to the car and then we're gonna head to Dunedin, one of New Zealand's biggest cities actually, never heard of it before. You can even clean your shoes here, which is very convenient because I stepped into some seal poo before. We arrived in Dunedin, we're gonna check out the city and go for some food. I'm in front of the train station from Dunedin and it's supposed to be really beautiful, but as you can see, it's under construction. By chance I walked past this vegetarian cafe and they said they had the best vegan scones, so I had to check it out. They were very nice actually. After our stop in Dunedin, we're on the road again, driving to the Nugget Point Lighthouse. It's cold and windy. We're almost at the lighthouse and it looks really cool. Good morning. We're parked, surrounded by green hills. Very nice little camping place. Today we're gonna check out the Caitlins and then head over to Fjordland. arrived in Thea now. It's kind of the gateway to Milford Sounds and the Fjordland. We got a campsite for tonight. I realized I haven't shown you yet how we need to open a door. It doesn't open from the inside. We have to open it from the outside. So, as you can imagine, that was really, really sucky when it rained and you need to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. You have to open the door that way. So, our man. Our first stop on the Milford Sound Road, a mirror lake. Hopefully today the weather is nice, so we should be able to see a cool reflection. We are gonna walk the Key Summit track now. It says it's like a three hour return walk with very scenic routes. And it's a very popular hiking spot as you can see. Very nice view for a quite short hike. Now 
now we're gonna head to a little lake. We saw a sign, just a 10 minute detour. At 4 p.m. we booked a boat trip from Milford Sound in the fjord towards the Tasman Sea. Perfect way to freshen up after hiking. We arrived in Milford Sound. We need to head over there where the boat tour starts. Quite windy, but it's definitely worth sitting outside. The view is way better. We got back from our boat tour. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. It was windy and cold, but not too bad. We haven't booked a campsite for tonight. There's only one campsite in Milford Sound, and it's all sold out. We need to head back the Milford Sound road until we find the first campsite with a vacancy. It's monster flies. Look at that massive thing. We found a camping spot for the night, all surrounded by nature, without any phone signal or anything. The last time cooking in the van, tomorrow we're gonna go for food and the day after tomorrow we're gonna give the van back. We're back in the sand fly zone, so bedtime routine, insect repellent, very important. Big breakfast and then gonna go on a small hike, looking good that the sun is coming out and hopefully it will get warmer. We are gonna go to the Gertrude saddle today. And so we are going up there, in the middle of those two. Yesterday we wanted the less busy hike. So far, we haven't seen any people. So I guess we got what you asked for. I'm not even sure if I'm on the path right now. There's just a lot of rocks. Still on the right track. Got a pole here. Yesterday it kind of almost felt like a walk, a long walk. Today it definitely feels like a hike. Should go up here. So I decided to stop here. Got a view of the mountains and the mountain lake. Amazing color, really cool, especially in the sunlight. Sun makes everything better. Just gonna stay here now. We're already on the way back to our van. It got really warm now, and on the way down, we saw loads of people. So, apparently, only in the morning it's very quiet and calm and not many people. And now we're gonna dip the feet into a stream. It's freezing cold, oh my gosh. It feels like even if you travel minimalist, when you pack during your trip, it's always takes up more space than when you pack at home. Yes. You can fit everything and add to Queenstown. 
We got everything packed already. The van looks super tidy. It's time to say goodbye to our van. After three weeks of van life in New Zealand. Gonna still show you a little bit of Queenstown. We haven't been there yet. We're gonna go there by Uber and yeah, take your Uber back to the airport. Bye then. We arrived in Queenstown, our final stop on our New Zealand holiday. Well, final stop before we go back to the Auckland airport to change that. Queenstown is really nice. It's got a beautiful lake, nice beach, surrounded by green, got nice shopping streets, very cool hip city. It's time to say goodbye to New Zealand after three weeks of van life. This third and final week finally started like the van life you read about or you hear about. The sun was shining, we saw amazing lakes, we did some hiking. We did so many things in the last week, more than we did in the first two weeks combined. We went over 4,000 uh, kilometers in three weeks. I finally got to see why people love the country so much. The sun makes just everything better. Like we've seen some really great things. So yes, subscribe and I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, bye.